the level one noob logs into the game of life and what does he do first? He checks the leaderboard, sees all these people doing well, he's like, wow, like I want to be on the leaderboard too. So what does he do? Hops into level 10 dungeon, tries to slay the mini boss and dies. He has to respawn all over again, he has to retry. He doesn't understand though, he goes back to the level 10 dungeon, tries to slay the boss again, just completely just dies again. He's not doing good at all. Okay, he's like, okay, might as well start, let's, let's go to level eight dungeon. He goes to level eight dungeon, gets wrecked again. What is the lesson here? He still has not learned the lesson. He checks the leaderboard again. Wow, all these people are doing so good. I wanna be what they're doing. He hops up to the level eight dungeon and he sees that these people have beaten this dungeon hundreds, thousands of times. And he's like, why can't I beat this dungeon? Why can't I beat this level? He tries it again, fails, goes back to respawn. What is the lesson here? You see the level one noob needs to what? He needs to start with the level one sheep, the level one goblins before obviously going up and we all know that we in the beginning of every game of in the beginning of everything self-improvement a book a story a movie anything it's always slow it is always going to be slow it's always going to be not fun it's always just going to be like things are just out of place uncertain you know what i mean so when we log in the game of life number one level if you're a level one noob start off with your sheep start off with the goblins the level one level two things that you need to be in order to level up and gain the experience and you know what this applies to? Habits. Consistency. People have such a, a such a bad outlook on consistency because they look on social media, like to com they like to compare themselves to people on social media. Because what does social media do? Social media paints this picture of like perfection. You need to meet this standard. You need to do what these people are doing. And it's it's totally not how it is. It's not the truth. People show people only show on social media when they are doing their best. But when's the last time someone has shown them where they fucked up completely, where they had to respawn, where they had to redo a level a hundred times? You see, this is why I'm such a big advocate of habit trackers, and I'll even show you right now. Right here, right here on my wall, I've been doing habit trackers for ten months now, and you can see red, 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 even even here. Look at my habit tracker. I still fuck up. I still fuck up. And I have days where I don't feel like doing shit. I don't feel like doing anything. And so the point of this is that I don't want you to get a such a... I don't want you to get in the mindset of trying to compare yourself to people who've, who've done the work already. Who've kind of beating the levels that you haven't beaten yet pace yourself stop trying to compete with people that are not in the same race as you you see a lot of people love to compete like especially like as men like we're supposed to compete whatever but like i just don't fucking feel that i don't feel that shit stay in your lane who should you compare yourself to the person who you were yesterday right you might it might sound cliche but it's so true why because when you see someone doing better than you you're like wow I want what he has. I want to be better than him. Why? People only want to compete and win against other people because that's the only thing they can look forward to is having a superior complex over someone. Yeah, I'm one. I must be better than you. That's the only thing they can cling on to. It's not intangible. It's it's shallowness. And that is my opinion. I believe you should compete at a healthy level. But don't compare yourself to these people who've done the work. Who, who are at level 10, level 20, level 30, or when you're just a level one noob. Don't do that. Pace yourself. Stay in your lane. Don't listen to the noise. Because I'm telling you, if you pace yourself and you, you work from where you are, not from where other people expect you to be, then it becomes much more fulfilling and gratifying. You actually see those level, you get to level two, you're excited. You get to level three, you're excited. Because you know what? Some people are at level 2, level 3, and they look at level 10 and they're like, wow, I'm not there. No, no, no. But what do you have? You know, people are so motivated by deficiency. They're motivated by what they don't have. I need this. I need this. I need that. But what do you have? What are the things you have done? People are so blinded by what they do have and not grateful for the progress they made now that they compete they compete for things that just don't they're, they're they're not there like stop take a step back look at yourself how can i get better today 
How can myself get better than who I was yesterday? It's as simple as that. It's, it's so cliche, but it saves you a lot of pressure and authenticity. I'm telling you, I spent so many months acting out of character because I didn't know who I was and because I was sold a dream that I fed into. I was trying to compare myself to other people because all these like, for example, let's, let's talk about making money, right? <sighs> Ever since a couple years ago, when TikTok came around, you see like all these money making methods and stuff like that. It's like I, I fed into that because it kind of went along with like my desires and stuff. And so they made it look so easy. They made it look so easy. And I bet it's easy for some people, but not for me. So stop trying to compare yourself for people who find it easy when you don't. You need to stay in your own lane. You need to find growth in your journey, not comp not looking at the gap between your journey and someone else's journey who's who's been on this journey. Don't do that. Cuz that what does that do? You look down at your journey, you're like, "Wow, like I haven't done shit." No, no, no. You have done things. You just don't see it. You know the saying goes, "Comparison is the thief of joy." The more you look at the leaderboard, the more you look at society and the value of people with money, what they can bring to the table while they have big muscles. Like if you ever went to a gym and it's like everyone, all the guys just fucking peacock each other. Everyone's just like, like they're trying to like, look who's bigger, look who's bigger. It's like, it's like something that's like innately built into us. But I just feel like it's so shallow. It's so empty. It's like competing with people who don't have the same story as you is just so fucking pointless and i i don't really like i the reason i curse when i say that is because i feel passionate about it because it, competing with people who don't have the same journey or story as you is fucking just ridiculous why and i understand okay with your friends like you guys play a little game oh who can win who could be better but don't compete from deficiency compete for growth Compete because you want to see what you are capable of, not what, not that you can see if you are better than this person. Because who gives a fuck about other people? Who gives a fuck? Who cares if you're better than someone? At the end of the day, both you people, both you guys, put your head on the pillow and just worry about yourself. You don't care about the other person. It's like have friendly competitions, compete in a healthy way, compete for growth, compete to see what you're capable of, compete with your friends to have fun and experience. But don't compete because you think you don't have. Don't compete because you want to be superior than someone else. Don't do that shit. It doesn't mean anything. It's it's something, it's the only thing that you look forward to. But look forward to growth. Be motivated by seeing what one is capable of. Be motivated by the growth that you can cultivate, the growth that you can create, the journey, this mission that you can create. Now what other people want you to make, the pressure from other people, what he's done, she's done, who cares what other people have done? Just do what you, just do you. And it's, it's like, this advice might sound basic, but it's so fucking true. If I could give you any type of advice, stay in your lane. Focus on you, turn, turn the noise off. Put your phone down, stop looking, Stop scrolling on social media. Look at all these gurus. Oh, I make money here, make money there. I've I, my physique's like this. It's like stop doing that. It's you're look. You're all you're doing is you're feeding into other people's journeys when you don't feed enough of that into yourself. Invest in yourself. Turn off all the noise. Go out and reflect. Find purpose. Find your mission. It's like other people follow, people follow other people's blueprints as well. And it's like, I did this too for the longest time. I wish someone would have told me this kind of concept sooner, but as a level one noob, slay level one sheep. Do those level one things. Cause consistency isn't 100% perfect. It isn't doing the same things every day at the same time. Like completely boom, boom, boom. Like nothing is perfect. You will never ever be perfect, ever. Don't try to be either. Don't try to be perfect, but that's not trying to be perfect. Don't make that an excuse to hold yourself back. Try your best, do your best, grow as a person, as an individual, experience life. Level up, meet new people, skills, whatever, right? Play the game of life like an experience. Come with a student's mindset. 
don't come to compare or compete to to flex your ego to grow your ego to to think that you're better than other people fuck that you are no better than i am i'm no better than you because at the end of the day we are all humans who are made with value the creator of the universe made us with value i truly believe that that's why we choose not to kill each other that's why we choose to love each other so we have free will humans were not meant to compete flaunt our egos to compare put all this inauthentic pressure but to grow and cultivate and create and to create a world of experience adventure etc like why can't we build a world like that like everyone on social media is just trying to flex what they have and it's like does it really mean much no it's like flexing your lifestyle is it do you flex your lifestyle so you can inspire people or do you flex your lifestyle because you feel good about yourself there's a difference between the two it's a double-edged sword are you competing with that guy to have fun and to learn or are you competing with him just so you can think that you're better than him and this can go really deep with that type of thing like are you are like ask yourself this right are you motivated by growth or motivated by deficiency because you will be more gratified fulfilled more likely to be happy experience a more blissful life if you're motivated by growth you're not competing with anyone you're seeing what you are capable of what you can give what you can, how you can serve people how you can create things versus being motivated by deficiency where you look at things as a lens of what don't i have what do i need i need to get all these things like you come with a scarcity mindset you look at things like i don't have that therefore i need it it's like don't do that there's no need to do all that what do you have what are your look at the deck of cards that you were given by the creator the gift your purpose is a gift your skills your strengths your your individuality right is a gift what are the cards that you were dealt and then use those cards to play the game of life the game of life isn't some big ego flaunting competition but a way for us to all grow and experience and love each other that's really what it is and i truly believe that as a level one noob play level one dungeons you even go up to level two if you need to it's like let's say for example you're like a level three you stay in between a level three to five or three to four you stay in between those levels so stay in your lane only look at yourself like how can i get better not how can i get what this guy has no 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 don't do that what can what can you get what can you get yourself and yeah go come from a place of growth creativity love etc and i will constantly want to encourage you to do that and yeah with that continue your journey remember stay in your own lane turn off the noise lock in just be yourself just be authentic what do you want to do what do you want to create how do you want to grow what are some ways that you can see yourself getting better that's really what it comes down to it doesn't have to be that complicated you know what i mean so maybe do some deep reflection about it but yeah continue your journey and keep moving forward